Well, on behalf of Kentucky Speedway, I'd like to uh, offer my welcome and our welcome to day three of the Charlotte Media Tour. And uh, I'd like to welcome those here in the theater and also those watching on NASCAR.com. And we'd like to thank Richard uh, for allowing us to uh, make this sponsor announcement today, our race sponsor announcement, adjacent to their presentation here at the Charlotte Media Tour. Um, joining us on stage, uh, certainly have no, uh, we know uh, Richard and Ty, of course, but Mark Simmendinger, uh, Kentucky Speedway General Manager, Jim Divers, who's uh, ALSCO Director of Sales and Marketing, Steve Larson, ALSCO Vice President of North American Operations. Uh, we will hear from all of those folks in just a few minutes. Now, please direct your uh, attention to the center screen for the Kentucky Speedway Race Entitlement Announcement. There, um, it, so there's the announcement uh, that July the 8th, our Xfinity Series race will be sponsored by ALSCO, and it will be entitled the ALSCO 300. Um, it was kind of neat to watch that video. Brendan, that's what our track used to look like. Sorry about that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, for us, th this is one of the most important uh, sponsorship deals that we have ever done at Kentucky Speedway. Um, and the reason for that is that we're dealing with a company in ALSCO who's been involved in motorsports for many, many years. Um, and they had an opportunity to do whatever they wanted to do in the sport. This is very much like our association with Quaker State. Um, and I put them on the same level as marketers, people that know how to activate in this sport. They could go anywhere they want. They could do any kind of um, asset purchase that they wanted to purchase. And for them to come to Kentucky Speedway, spend some time with us. They've, they've been in uh, lower sponsorship levels for a couple of years and then want to step up and, and be able to put this together with us. It's a real shot in the arm for, for us as a team. Uh, it says a lot about where Kentucky Speedway is going. And for us to be with ALSCO, who is a market leader, who is a marketer, who also touches consumers, zillions of them across this country, and certainly in our market area, uh, is a huge, huge win for Kentucky Speedway. We could not be more proud to be associated with them, and we really look forward to what we're going to be able to accomplish with them starting this July. So. With that, I want to turn it over to, to Steve Larson. Uh, Steve, for some comments. Well, thank you. Good morning. Uh, we're really happy to be here this morning with you. Let me uh, start by telling you a little bit about what ALSCO is and what we do. ALSCO is a fourth generation family-owned business that was established in 1889. Over these years, we've learned that the value that, uh, that is attained by building good relationships. That's why we're excited about teaming up with the Kentucky Motor Speedway and to sponsor the ALSCO 300. We have been uh, partnering with the Speedway over several years now. But we have been participating in customer events as well as providing race day uniforms to their staff. We view one of the best ways to reach our customers and to expand our prospect base is through great partnerships like Kentucky Speedway and NASCAR. We also enjoy the great partnership with Richard Childress Racing, providing all the shop uniforms, mats, and first aid service. We would like to also thank VF Imageware, our garment provider, 
for helping to facilitate this children's relationship. We understood clearly the value of being part of the racing team. Halsco provides rental and cleaning services for restaurant linens, mats, kitchen uniforms, a wide variety of work uniforms, hygiene systems for restrooms, and first aid cabinets. We do this business over 14 countries, serving more than 300,000 customers with 18,000 great employees of ALSCO. We look forward to a long lasting relationship. And with that, I say thank you. And I turn it over to Jim Divers. Thanks, Steve. And, and uh, it's a joy for us to be here. Uh, you heard Steve and Mark both talk about relationships. And I, I think that is the core of NASCAR. And that's why relationships are very important to grow our business and to grow any business. But I wanted to walk you through how um, relationships and partnerships got us here today. Uh, because I think it's in very important. There's four companies that really is res are responsible for, uh, for us sitting here today. And it started about three years ago. Uh, John Cox, uh, which has been a good friend for a long time, Dan Stewart, and then later I met Mark, uh, called me and needed race day uniforms uh, in a hurry. Uh, so uh, we put a package together with them very quickly, uh, took care of their race day needs, and then we started talking about sweet space where we could bring customers to entertain at the, at the, at the track. So we, after that first year, we, we said, Steve and I said, well, how can we make it better? And then we got a call from our uniform partners at VF a red cap and they said hey we have a great relationship with Richard Childress Racing we need to figure out how we can run an ALSCO car there so for the last two years we've had the pleasure of meeting Ty and Richard and having them um, run that ALSCO car up there and our phone just rings off the hook every time that that happens um, and along those lines uh, we began talking with 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 Richard I remember doing that in the back of the hauler uh, we started talking about their, their uniforms at the shop. So, so all of that put together um, uh, brings on a, a, a great partnership and a great relationship, and we couldn't be happier to share the stage with you guys today. So thank you very much, and we appreciate it, and we look forward to many, many years of this. Thanks so much. So, Richard, uh, you got to feel like uh, this is just an extension of something that started a few years ago. Yeah, I do, and uh, we've been very fortunate to take a few trophies away from uh, <laughs> Kentucky over the years, and uh, hopefully this year, uh, Ty or Austin or whoever's driving the other cars, uh, Brandon or uh, Brian or everybody that'll be there in this race, uh, hopefully we'll bring that tr one of them will bring that trophy back. But it's a great partnership we have. We was using uh, their services, uh, House Coast services at our winery before, and we were using it at our country club down there, so uh, a golf course. So it's a great company, a lot of history behind it, and it's family. That's what we feel good about, it's family. Ty, you've had uh, the experience with them uh, the last couple of years on the car, and this is uh, an extension. You'd love to be in Victory Lane in July. Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the last couple of years, our House Coast Chevy, we've been uh, I think last year we, we were leading with three laps to go in the race, and the year before that we led the most laps. So uh, this year hopefully we can get the job done. That's our that's our plan, or if not, one of our teammates, Brandon or Brandon uh, or Austin or whoever's in the car, will be able to get in victory lane. Um, but uh, you know, very excited for, for Oscar's partnership with Kentucky Speedway, two uh, great companies that have been really great to me. Um, it's nice to, to see a relationship grow from – our relationship with VF Imageware uh, to where we met a company like Allsco and, and have had a partnership for the last couple of years and, and being at the racetrack with these guys and their, uh, their group of people that comes to the racetrack is one of the most excited groups. Uh, they're always so pumped for the Kentucky Speedway race and now that they're uh, the title sponsor, it's a really cool feeling uh, to be able to be in that race and, and see how this relationship has grown and hopefully uh, grow our future together with, with Allsco and Kentucky Speedway. All right, it'll be July 8th, 2016. That's Friday night, and uh, it'll start at 8.30, and uh, that uh, race will be on NBC Sportsnet. So 